Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love. The Origins of Aphrodite According to legend, Aphrodite was born from the foam of the sea. The god Uranus, god of the sky, had been castrated by his son Kronos, and his semen fell into the sea, where the white foam mixed with it. The foam rose from the sea, creating a beautiful goddess who emerged from the water and was carried by the wind to the island of Cyprus. Upon her arrival in Cyprus, the goddess was welcomed by the Ori, goddesses of the seasons, who dressed her in a white tunic and adorned her with jewels. They also gave her a bouquet of roses, a flower that became her symbol. Aphrodite was considered one of the most beautiful and desired goddesses in Greek mythology from her birth and quickly became one of the most important divinities of Greek religion. She was worshipped throughout the Greek world and numerous temples and sanctuaries were built in her honor. In addition to her physical beauty, Aphrodite also had a complex personality. She was known for being jealous and vengeful, and often became involved in love dramas that had a great impact on mortals and gods alike. Some of the most famous stories about Aphrodite involve her relationship with the gods of Olympus, especially with her husband Hephaestus and her lover Ares. Aphrodite in Greek Mythology In Greek myths, Aphrodite is involved in many stories of love and passion, often causing drama and conflict. One of the most famous myths about Aphrodite is her role in the Trojan War. According to legend, Paris, a Trojan prince, was chosen by Zeus to decide which of the three goddesses, Hera, Athena, or Aphrodite, was the most beautiful. Each of the goddesses offered him a gift, but Paris chose Aphrodite as the most beautiful because she promised him the love of the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen, the wife of the king of Sparta. This led to the Trojan War and many other love dramas involving Aphrodite. In addition to her role in the Trojan War, Aphrodite was also involved in other important myths. It is said that she helped Adonis, a young man who became her lover. It is also said that she had an affair with Ares, the god of war, which led to her husband Hephaestus discovering them and trapping them in a net to publicly humiliate them. Aphrodite was also known for her role in fertility and reproduction. She was the goddess of sexuality and was associated with fertility. For this reason, she was worshipped in many rites and ceremonies involving reproduction and fertility, such as weddings and childbirth. Cult and Worship of Aphrodite The cult of Aphrodite focused largely on love, beauty, and sexuality. Her followers sought her help in matters of love and offered sacrifices and offerings in her honor. The temples of Aphrodite were believed to be sacred places where the faithful could seek her help and advice. One of the most important temples of Aphrodite was the Temple of Aphrodite in the city of Corinth. According to legend, the temple had over 1,000 priestesses, known as Hetairai, who were dedicated to serving the goddess and offering their sexual services to the faithful in the temple. This temple was famous throughout Greece and attracted visitors from all over the country. Another important sacred place of Aphrodite was the island of Cyprus, where it was said that the goddess was born. In the city of Paphos, a temple was built in her honor that became one of the most sacred places in the entire Greek world. The Temple of Paphos was known for its beauty and wealth, and it was said to be decorated with the finest works of art and jewelry. In ancient Rome, Aphrodite was known as Venus and was also one of the most popular and worshipped goddesses. The Romans built temples and shrines in her honor, including the famous Temple of Venus in Rome. Festivals in honor of Venus were very popular throughout Rome and were celebrated with great enthusiasm and joy. And that's all about Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love. I hope you enjoyed learning more about this fascinating mythological figure and how she has influenced our culture and society. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe for more content on mythology, and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching.